505 World Champs here in Cork Island. Caleb Payne, Stuart McNay, the winning team on the day. We thought we'd take a chance to chat to you boys. Uh, I'm going to say, it looks like a pretty hard day. It was light. It was very light. Yeah, Caleb was was over the centerboard trunk a lot of the day, but um, you know, certainly he tossed the boat around really well in the tacks and we were able to, able to get off the rabbit really well and, and tack early. And that's always a good thing in light air. Yeah. So um, we hope the right side would be a little bit better than it turned out to be, but it was just good enough for us to cross in the lead by the first mark. Yeah, it was. It looked awkward, didn't it? It seemed to, just from my eye off the boat, it looked like there was a bit of a lift off port early, and yeah. that took a lot of guys to the right. And you could see something out there on the horizon on the right, but it sort of never really gave much to bring you back. But you got back better than the other guys, so um, it was close because your your what seems to be your your partners in crime, Nathan Batchel and Sam Pasco, were right behind you for most of the race, and then at the bottom mark at the gate. I think they were doing turns. I don't know what quite happened, but I'm pretty sure they were doing turns and that gapped you out a little bit. Were you ever stressed or was it um, pretty comfortable once you got that lead? Yeah, no, actually one of the things that Stu and I wanted to work on from the free world was our downwind speed. Mm -hmm. I think we, uh, we fortunately figured out a bit of a different mode than the light stuff. Um, and yeah, we were, we were able to hold our lane a lot, lot, lot better than the past and uh, seemed to be more comfortable than we were. Yeah. Um, so you guys are new into the 5.0, so 470 sailor, 4 Olympics, fin sailor, so extra handsome obviously because of being a fin sailor and the Olympics, bronze medalist. Um, why, why have you jumped into the 5.0? It's a great fleet environment, you know, everyone's, everyone's friendly at our, at our first regatta together down in Florida in February. Um, whole American fleet, you know, we're talking strategy and rig settings and it's a really friendly vibe and you know it's um the Olympic group's great but it's not quite as much like a family as that and so it's been really neat to be a part of this. Uh, I do want to call up our second place team from the pre-worlds because uh, they weren't here for prize giving so they have to bring the whole fleet of beer and come on up and collect their trophy from uh, the pre-world. So Stuart McNay and Caleb Payne from the US Congratulations on coming second at the pre-world. And you might as well stay today.